letter of the week is S. The mommy is a capital. The baby is a lowercase. Do they look the same? Kind of. Do they sound the same? Always. S says S. This is the sign for the letter S. These are some of the words that begin with the letter S. There's the capital. There's the lowercase. This says S is for sandwich, snake, seal, silly, sing, smile. Let's head over to the table so we can go over instructions for center one for the letter S. The first thing that we're going to do is dress this S up like a snake. So you slide the paper clip off, the pieces over to the side, and make a pointy finger. We're gonna trace it three times, starting at the top, because our letters always start at the top, top, top. Are you ready? It goes like this. Whee! Stop. Wee stop. One more time. Wee stop. And make the sign for the letter S. S, s snake. This down here says snake. And then we're gonna put our pieces on. We've got an eyeball and we've got a forked snake tongue. S, s snake. Remember, when you're making the sign for S, your thumb goes in front of your fingers like this. This is how you make an A. This is how you make an S. We can put glue on the whole back of the eyeball because the whole eyeball is touching the letter S. And then on the back of this little sneak tongue, we're just gonna do a little dot as a lot and then we'll stick it down. That was easy peasy. Make sure you always put your lid back on your glue stick. And then you're all done. Make the sign one more time. S, S, snake. Next, we'll go over instructions for handwriting. Make sure you have three markers close by and then pick one that you're gonna use for your handwriting. We use the same color for the whole page. I'm gonna do gray today. What color did you choose? Make sure you've got the proper grip all the way down near the tip. We start at the top on the left side and we'll trace the letters all the way across that whole top row before moving down to the second row. Bing, down to the beginning of the next row. Maybe you're just watching these instructions and then you'll push pause do your own handwriting. Or maybe you're practicing your handwriting, tracing your name the same time I'm doing mine. Either way is just great. Bing! To the beginning of the next row. If you need to take a break and stretch your fingers out, you can always just push pause. And then when you're ready to resume, you can just push play again. After you've traced all three rows of your name, we're gonna come down here to the beginning of this fourth row. We're gonna practice writing our name on the bottom row. Your first letter will be capital and the rest of your name will be lowercase. You're gonna practice writing it two times. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just do our best effort. 
Once you're done, you can put your lid back on the top of your marker. And then we're gonna tuck your name underneath the letter of the week. Now pick a marker and we're gonna do rainbow letters. So always starting with the letter on the left, which is the capital. It starts at the top, it goes wee, stop. Don't forget the lowercase in the same color. Wee, stop. Once you've traced the capital and the lowercase in one color, put the lid back on and pick another color. Maybe you chose the same color as me or maybe you chose a different color. Either way is just great. One more color. I'm gonna trace the capital and the lowercase one more time. After you've traced both the capital and the lowercase three times with three different colors, you are done with your handwriting. What do you think is gonna be on the other side of this letter S? Did you guess a sandwich? There it is. If you're not in the mood to color, you don't have to color your sandwich. You can color it later if you'd like. Or if you feel like scribbling, you can scribble this sandwich. Or you can color it with lots of awesome detail. Maybe that's lettuce sticking out. Or maybe that's squishy peanut butter. You can color it however you want. And here's the plate. Maybe you wanna draw a table here for the plate to be sitting on. You can add whatever details you'd like. And then the third set of instructions that we're gonna go over for the letter S is journal. Make a pointy finger and trace your name just one time. And then you're gonna look, look, look for the letter of the week. Ding, 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 ding. S, S, sandwich. And then look, look, look for the letter of the week. Ding, 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 ding. S, S snake. Then we're gonna turn the pages until we get to the letter S. Do you think it's gonna be towards the beginning of the letters? towards the middle or towards the end. It's kind of in the middle, closer to the end. So don't give up, just keep turning. You know you're close when you get to the letter R. Right after R comes S, there it is, found ya. Pick a marker. In your journals, you can change colors every letter if you'd like, or you can stick with one color for all of your letters. Today, I'm gonna stick with orange to trace all of my letters. But whatever you decide to do, make sure you start at the top on the left side. Once you've traced all of your letters, you can come down to this space and this is where you'll do an illustration. Try to think of something that begins with a letter S. After you've completed your illustration, find someone that can write the words for you and you can tell them all about your illustration and have them write the words right up here on these lines. Let's go back over to the wall so we can remind ourselves of some of the words that begin with the letter S. S is for sandwich, snake, C, 
steal, silly, sing, smile. And that's the end of Center 1 instructions for the letter S.